another video. Today we're back with another match day vlog. It's another away day. Um, Ipswich Town versus Swansea City in the Skybridge Championship this Saturday, 3 p.m. kickoff away at Portman Road. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tough game. It's currently half past four in the morning, which is just ridiculous. But um, yeah, I, I guess you've got to do it for the away days, I suppose. Um, similar distance to Norwich went there last season, um, which was very far away, but I don't think anything tops Sunderland, so uh, I always bear that in mind. Try and make me feel a little bit better about uh, you know, a long coach journey, but um, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can try and get the three points now. It's going to be a very tough game, but I'll catch up to you when I'm with the boys and see what they think ahead of the game. Alright, so uh, yeah, we've made a service stop in Redden. I went to Greg's, got a bacon and sausage roll with, with brown sauce, as you can see. Uh, you know, I'll give it a crack to you now, see, see how good it is. But... All over his fingers. Typical, but... That only happened because the brown sauce is all over the sausage on the top, which is just unprofessional, really. <laughs> unprofessional. Um, you know, I paid good £4.50 for this and I expect it to, you know, look in good condition. And um, it's just not really, so... For Red and Services, for the, for the Greg's here, I'll give it a minus one out of ten. Right, so we're here at Subway now. I've um, done the Nando's Subway review before, but Nando's was heaving. So I got a um, 12 inch steak and cheese with cucumber, lettuce, tomato, and red onions, and a little bit of um, chipotle sauce and mayo. Let's give it a go. Very nutritious. Big to us then. Right, so I'm here with my two very good pals, Jacob and Kai. Um, yeah, well, what are your predictions today then? I will, uh, I'll start with you, Jacob, because I know, I know Luke started with Kai last time, so you know, I'll mix it up a little bit. So yeah, Jacob, what's your prediction? I think we're going to win 2-0 today. Bold one, I know. I think. Scores? I think Jerry is going to score today. I've been doing very well lately, but I think he is going to score, uh, and Jay Patterson's going to get one. Yeah, and uh, what about you? I reckon it's going to be 2-0 today. Scores? Um... Jay Fulton and Jamalo. Right, so we've got the team lineup now. So it's Carl Rushworth, Jay Fulton, Harry Darlin, Mac Grimes, Jerry Yates, Jamal Lowe, Jamie Patterson, Josh Tyman, Liam Cullen, Harrison Ashby and Bashir Humphreys, and then Luke will give you the bench. On the bench we've got Andy Fisher, Ben Cabango, Nathan Tajoran, Carl Norton, Liam Walsh, Ollie Cooper, Sam Parker, Cameron Congreve and Kyrell Wilson. Right, so I'll give you mine and Luke's prediction now then. Um, it's going to be a tough one, but... Yeah. Go with a one or draw. Um, got to be optimistic, I suppose. Yeah, Ipswich Town one, Swansea one. I'm going to go with Connor Chapman to score for uh, Ipswich. Ipswich and to score for us. I'm going to go with go with Jerry Yates to get back back amongst the goals. But what's your prediction? Uh, I'm going to stick to my uh, prediction um, in the preview, which is three one Ipswich. I think they are too strong. I think they'll get back to winning ways after uh, you know we're poor. Uh, so against uh, Rod Rum, so 3-1 Ipswich win. Um, I reckon Nathan Paul's head will get a goal. Um, I think. Yeah, I think I think you'll get two goals. I think Freddie Freddie Ladakh will get off the bench, and then the Swans. I'll go for. I'll, I'll, I'll go for Jamal Lowe on that one. Right, so I'm here now with Alex Griffin, um, Ipswich fan. What, right. what is your prediction today, then? <sighs> Mate, I will tell you what, I'm not as confident as I as I'd usually be. Uh, the last couple of games we have Drew, Birmingham and Rotherham, we weren't very good. We are back at home. We've got Wes Burns back on the bench. Good player. Um, I don't know how your season's been. I think you're sort of lingering around mid-table at the moment. Yeah, a bit up and down, to be honest with you. It is early days. I'm not going to write you off. It could be very close, but I've got to be optimistic. 2-0 win. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
Started off so brightly as well, but then you know it's like it's like you kind of sat back a bit, and then it switched. You know, you know from our mistakes we're in at the back. You know they scored some good chances. Uh, and, and, you know the, in, in fairness, they've had more chances as well. It could be three or four at this point. But um, you can say same. Actually, got some chances, but not many on target really. So you know it's, it's a bit of a shame how it's gone so far. You know I'm glad we got a goal, but you know we're torn down. We need to make some changes. And, you know I think definitely this particular in this game we don't have to come forward. But um, yeah, it's, it is a, a bit of a shame because we have played well, you know, so far you know, at the start. So you know, it's, it's a real shame what's happened, but hopefully we can try and get back into this game. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's two mistakes and it's led to two goals. But I think we look positive before we conceded. But yeah, hopefully we can get back in the second half. Right, Marley, what's your thoughts on that first half? Obviously, you didn't get my prediction at the start. I did originally say one-one. It was one-one at one point, but you can see why it's such a where they are. We kind of just fell apart after that first 10 minutes. We looked really, really more dominant than them. Um, Gotta say, Jamal Lowe looked frightening. Um, who else looked frightening that off? I reckon Josh Tyler was alright, but you can, you can obviously see where they are. Their, their attack is just ridiculous. Corner Chapman, Nathan Broadhead. They got, still got Wes Burns on the bench. Maybe he'll come on, we don't know yet, but obviously their attack in front of their, their fans now, which is where they score the most. Um, but hopefully now we can, you know, really get going in this next half and really take the game to them because I don't think we have, we have been as creative in midfield as we really should be. I don't think we've been really, really slow. So if we can really just up the pace a bit, put the pressure on and they will know how to deal with us. You saw in that first 10 minutes. Obviously you'll have his tactics, but we'll just have to see what happens at the end of the day. Final score prediction. I'll be past it, 2-2. Two, two.